Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we're here with the start of a new Panzer Corps series. Uh, I guess we're gonna call this one the Long Fascists? The Long Nazis? Something like that. It's gonna be the Grand Campaign. So, um, with a resounding vote, by the way, um, quite a few of you guys want to see some fascist action. I'm not questioning that. I'm just, just stating. Anyway, uh, difficulty uh, as I bite down on my tongue. Not an easy way to start a recording. Difficulty settings, we're sticking with kernel. Uh, all of this stuff is going to be set up the same. And, um, you know, all of this stuff is going to be the same as well. So let's get this started. Ah. Operation Fall Vice. Our invasion of Poland has begun. You, Herr General, are charged with leading the primary assault from Germany's eastern border all the way into the heart of the Polish nation. As you command your forces from the front, I will keep you informed of your objectives and share intelligence with you as it becomes available during those these briefings. Your first task is to launch an attack across the Oder River that is aimed at the Poznan region. In addition to securing your metropolitan objectives, you should strive to occupy as many Polish air fields as your forces encounter. The capture of these should deal a crippling blow to the Polish Air Force, granting your forces near unchallenged mastery, mastery of the skies in the upcoming campaign. Good luck, Air General, but be warned, failure here is not an option. And then this uh, SE unit for this limit is 2, experience cap has been set to 225. I'm going to be totally honest, no idea at all what this means. I think it limits... Um, like super experience? I don't honestly think that's what SE stands for, but I know that it is limiting something. I don't know what, but it is limiting something. So let's take a look. Uh, and here we are with the first map of the Grand Campaign Invasion of Poland. So already it's looking a lot different from the good old-fashioned Panzer Corps. Like I say, this is going way more in-depth. Um, it's gonna be a long campaign. Also, if you were hoping for the, uh, the communist campaign, um, I will probably do one eventually, but because it is a fairly recent addition, um, what? Uh, Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, 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 it was the, as I stumble through, there it was the latest uh, expansion pack, or the expansion to Panzer Corps. So there are a ton of other video series on it. The good news is, um, those people playing it were probably a heck of a lot better at the game than I am. So it might be worth checking out someone else's if you had your heart set on Poland. Anyway, let's take a look at the map and figure out what we are going to do. So you can see we have um, a bunch of objectives. So every little gold flagged thing, that's an objective. So taking a look at it, uh, obviously we start with a scout unit and a 110 up here. Down here we got the main thrust of our unit. We've got more infantry, three units of infantry. We got a unit of artillery and an anti-tank unit and three armored units, as well as a Stuka, and kicking around somewhere here, we should also have a 109 as well. So we're left with quite a decent start. Now, there we go. Uh, we can afford to purchase four more units. So let's take a look at this, right? Like the, the amount of forces we got down here should be good enough to punch through and take at least these objectives, possibly that airfield as well. Uh, but up north, here, as you can see, we don't have anything. We don't have anything at all uh, to, to push through up north. So that's going to be our first focus. What we're going to want are two Wehrmacht infantry units, uh, one there, and then we might as well slap the second one um, <clears throat> on the river as well. We can get them to maneuver around. And then we're also going to want some artillery up here as well. Uh, I always go with the biggest artillery we can possibly buy. 
I don't know why you would get smaller guns. Big guns are always better. That should be enough of a force here uh, to take on whatever the Poles have in the north, I hope. Down in the south here, uh, we don't really need too much, but what I am... <laughs> so I'm of two minds here, right? Like, we've got enough units. Um, we got artillery, we got some infantry, we've got some armor. The armor is pretty crap. Um, but, you know, we can worry about that as time goes on. I'm tempted, obviously, to purchase myself... Um, a proper tank uh, for the South, which would be obviously the 38T. I'm quite a fan of the 38T in this game. Um, it's, I don't know, I don't know why. It's just compared to the 2C, uh, you know, like <laughs> the 38T is just, just better. It feels like it's just better. Like from the two, from the Panzer 2C to the 38 you know, you, you hold more fuel, you do better attacks against everything. Sure, you don't hold as much ammunition, but, you know, that's about it. Um, what I am thinking, though, safety-wise, quote-unquote safety-wise, it might just make sense to get, like, a Pioneer Brigade or something and then just, you know, work, upgrade those three tanks. Eh, you know what, though? We're going to go with what I know. Let's get a 38 TN. Okay, so, um, like I say, we also have a, a Stuka and a 110, both of which are core units. You can see the gold around there. So they are my core units, which is lovely. Um, let's just click off there. We also, uh, in this mission, I think on turn two or something, we get a second Stuka. So our Air Force initially is more than enough to handle whatever it is that the Poles are throwing at us. It is one place where we absolutely 100% have total uh, technological superiority, and it is relatively easy, especially if we succeed on this mission, um, capturing all of the airfields to, um, to get a victory. We gone almost seven and a half minutes. You guys haven't even seen a single shot fired. I apologize. Let's get rolling, shall we? So the first thing we're going to do uh, whoops, we got the two-button mouse on. We're gonna move our Stuka up over here. I knew there was gonna be a unit there, that's, that's why I did that. Um... We'll move our fighter up to protect it. Because that's always a good thing to do. And then we can start moving our infantry up. Whoops. Don't worry, I'll get the clicking down at some point. Um, let's do that. And then, yeah, they'll retreat. I should have attacked with the infantry before moving that tank unit. But hey, as I'll, as I'll say many times, um, this series, lesson learned, and it's probably not a lesson learned. I think we're fairly safe moving those guys up there. Um, maybe not. But, we can always actually, let's be smart about this and do that. Because an anti-tank gun, they're not going to do much damage against infantry, thankfully. Let's go up north. We can't really move much of these guys, but we can certainly move our scout unit um, in to get a little idea of what's going on. And we can see that airfield, that objective there, completely untaken. Uh, or completely undefended. Obviously, it's taken because it's owned by the Polish. Uh, so we'll be able to use the, move those units next turn. Same with the 38T, but it hasn't really fallen behind. So let's go down to turn two. Uh, we're sending you a special reconnaissance unit to supplement your forces. Although the flight leader of the unit has been deemed unsuitable for combat, there are those that believe he may have untapped potential. To that end, I highly recommend you do not disband this recon flight, but instead make the mas maximum use out of it for every battle to come. Uh, for those of you who know World War II, you might have heard of a Stuka ace. I believe his name was Rudel. Um, he started his Luftwaffe career as a reconnaissance uh, pilot, and then through the course of, I think really with him specifically, the invasion of Russia, uh, he became kind of, kind of a, a national socialist hero, if you will. Um, 
yeah, so that's that's brutal for you. And if, when I like when I say national socialist hero, I mean like the dude was a national socialist. He was he was a absolute Nazi. Um, but what he did in war was incredible. The amount of flights this guy did, the amount of kills this guy has in a Stuka. Like, he flew ridiculous amounts of operations up in to the very end of the war. Um, you know, quite, quite the military career. Anyway, that's, that's enough talking about Nazi war heroes. Uh, let's keep these guys moving. We'll get there soon. And taking a look at it, I don't necessarily want to leave that Stuka unprotected. I also don't want to leave this Stuka just, just kicking around out there. So we'll bring them down too. And um, I'm guessing eventually we'll come into contact with some sort of Polish Air Force. There we go. And really, the big concern here is obviously the anti-air or the anti-air guns. I don't know why I stumbled on that, but I did. So let's get you there. So that's happy. Um, we will hit those guys with the artillery. We will then move them into the airfield and then hit the anti-tank gun. So we've got that objective airfield, huzzah! And now you know we can take a look at maybe doing our best to knock down some of these uh, fighters. Actually, if we're going to do that, I would prefer you to get like some better scouting in of this area where we're going to have to go. Uh, we might as well plop you there and then finish that plane off and then hopefully we can take care of that guy relatively easily. Um, let's see if we can get some scouting done into this town because it should be defended but not heavily. Uh, taking a look, would we want to use our armor to take that airfield? I don't know. This airfield, it gets kind of tricky, right? Because these guys are set to just continue on in that direction. These guys have to swoop all the way to the east and then up. This airfield here kind of gets left behind, and it really can't. Um, anyway, let's get our Stuka flights moving in. Doing a little bombing damage, and why not? Let's go up here and just start working down infantry, hopefully. Doesn't look like we succeeded there. That's okay, we can get our units moved in. And then get our artillery moved up. I think we'll have to move it one more to actually get them to shoot. And I might actually take the ninth here and just send them north. Um... To take that airfield. Now this city isn't actually all that defended. Alright. So that's good. And if I had been smart about that, we could have taken the city this turn. Um, but I wasn't smart about it. So I wonder if we can use the recon to assist down here. They might be able to help out a little bit, and at least that's not a full-strength infantry unit, so... Oh, I see the game you're playing. Well, what we're gonna want to do... Haha, <laughs> suck it, little machine gun carrier. Although, really, having a tank in trees is definitely not the place you want to have a tank. I fully admit that, and it's a mistake I make an awful lot. So, for all you tactical sticklers out there, I do apologize. This, you know, might be why you'd want to check out someone else's uh, Russian Let's Play. They can actually, you know, they know what they're doing. Uh, where's my second Stuka? There we go, okay. So we'll bomb you, but that doesn't seem that effective. And we'll keep you in, around just in case we do need you. We'll move you up and start shelling the town. And then we can just do basically a repeat of what we did last time. Okay, that's good. We'll move you in and finish off that cavalry. Lovely. Uh, we can get you to attack there. Hopefully that'll cause you to retreat so we can push up 
pull that tank back, put you guys up, and then attack them. And if we want to support them, and we kind of do, we'll do that. I think all of the fighter aircraft has been taken care of, so now it's just the bomber, which arguably is a bigger threat to us. Um, but, you know, we'll persevere. Can we even do anything with this? Might be able to do something next turn if that guy doesn't die. Might as well get you moving up as well, and then let's go to the north. Because... We're gonna want to do our best to just take care of that anti-tank gun, because it can come back and cause us problems. We'll capture the town for more renown, and we'll move this guy down to see if he can assist in taking out that anti-air gun. Because really all we need to do is secure that airfield. Uh, taking out the troops, obviously we're going to have to do that to keep it secured. But... Uh, we don't necessarily, and we can just slide you in on the airfield. We don't necessarily need to do anything uh, too in-depth for that. Let's get you down. And then using this plane, we should be able to finish him off. Ah, not even close. Okay, well that's fine. You need to replace your losses, unfortunately. And it's going to be expensive, so I'm not going to pay it. I'm going to go with the far cheaper. Um, not to say that losing almost 50% of your experience is all, isn't that bad. Of course it is, but it's only 60. So we'll be able to get those, re re or those replacements trained up pretty darn quickly. The problem with this anti-tank gun over here is just... Um, the amount of time it's going to take to kill it. So what we'll probably want to do... Move you in. Ooh, that was not good. Um, what we'll probably want to do is get a Stuka up there. Well, yeah, next turn you're going to have to refuel. Thankfully, you're close to, uh refueling place airfields that's what they are let's move you in and i think i'm just gonna have to bomb that into submission uh let's see yeah that's fine <clears throat> we'll just get these guys up for the push this way uh, okay speaking of pushing how do we want to push East. You don't want the artillery up as close as it can get. Might as well get rid of the horsies. And then we can kind of move around, getting our armor up to take care of these little Wojek's TKSs. Um, we'll get our mountain troops going off in that direction, although, you know, it's not going to be easy. Uh, move you. Move you. And you will give you full replacements because you're a tank, and that's probably a good thing to do with them. We can just get our anti-tank gun moving as well. I don't think we'll have too many units coming down to stop us, so that's good. I'm not feeling all that great about the way this mission's gone. It hasn't gone poorly, but it just feels not right. Right, I was hoping for a little more damage done there, guys. Uh, let's take the trenches. And that's good. We can get those guys resting. Uh, and then probably push in up through there. <clears throat> okay, let's get you refueled. And let's get you up over here. One? I definitely need you to hit that anti-tank weapon for more than one. The pro like, like I said, the problem is if I push forward, right, then this anti-tank weapon is just going to turn around and retake the objectives that are, I guess with that guy back there, okay, yeah, we're going to go for it, um, we should be pretty safe up this road, but I don't necessarily want to push it too far, we'll get our scout up there and we'll move that guy in over that direction for protection. Now, you need to rearm. Thankfully, we've got 
an airfield nearby for that. You can move in. And we should be able to take them out next turn without resupplying, I hope. Let's just get you off the road. We'll skirt around. And that city is wide open. So that city isn't, which is fine. I really feel like I need some more infantry down here. That is for sure. Let's scout up here. Let's see. So that's wide open. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so we got seven turns left. We'll just keep bombing that anti-tank gun. And, um... Base, I mean, basically just... We could obviously focus the Stukas completely on this. And at least that way we're grinding up experience for them, so... You know, until we need them in the north, then we should be okay. Let's be cautious, because we know this is a town we're coming up to. So, let's move. We can hit them with artillery. And then we can hit them with infantry. And that's, that's really good. We should be able to push into Poznan quite uh, easily, quote unquote. Uh, now we got this whole network of BS to deal with. Uh, we'll move our tanks around, and in fact, we'll probably want to push our tanks across over here. Uh, we'll move you up, we'll get you into position to start shelling the town. In the meantime, good, I'm glad that assault went through. You guys can get in, capture the airfield, and resupply next turn. We can get our anti-tank gun moving and see what kind of damage we can get done. Nowhere near enough, I might add. Uh, you guys, I was going to leave you... Yeah, let's do that. I do need more infantry up at the front. But these guys can be quite effective taking out that anti-tank gun. Uh, might as well move you up one more to get those guys in range. And do I want to do anything with, with my airplanes here? Um, I mean, the only reason why I'm not going here is because of that anti-aircraft gun. But if I use a plane unit that isn't mine... It looks like he didn't even take any anti-aircraft damage. Anyway, let's scout up here, see what we got. Nothing. No planes up there at all. Good news for us next turn. All right. So, yeah, they just, they keep spending money on replacing losses of the, um... Oh, what should I call it? Anti-tank guns. It's not going to help you guys. I guess we can move you up one more to get everybody in range here. And we should probably focus in on the infantry. Let's see, can we hop this correct? It looks like we can. So if we do that, and then that... We might as well attack the anti-tank gun. That's just sitting there not doing anything. We might as well attack the bombers that are not doing much either. Uh, we can leave you there. We need to get you back and refueled, so we'll do that. We need to continue with the bomb dropping cycle. I feel like now we can put our Stukas to better use probably in this area. So, let's try that. Like here. Much better use. And then you can just kind of park yourself here. And then if these guys make a play, we can intercept them. Um, let's... 
hold off on that for now, because we need to do that. And then hopefully take the town? Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Let's get that objective. Done. Okay. Scroll down. You guys need to move and resupply. We can't do both. Um, let's see. So let's get you there and open up the world to see. Okay, that's not looking that bad. We might be able to get all of our tanks across here, which would be advantageous. Okay, our scout car doing more than just scouting. I like it. Um, geez, none of this is good, is it? Uh, okay, well, let's go with that just to get rid of them. Take no damage in return. Good. All right. Have we got any units way down in the south here that need moving? I keep hoping, but I, I don't think we do. <clears throat> so let's get them on the move. We can probably move them up. Here's where it gets tricky, right? Because we're going to have to take that town with not a whole heck of a lot. Is that all you're going to do? You're still thinking. You're still thinking. All right. Looks like they got an anti-tank gun set up there. Might not do them much. Good. Uh, we've lost visual on that anti-tank gun, so let's see if we can reacquire it. They are lost to the world. Not, not really what I had hoped for. Let's get you over there, do a little gunfire, and we should be able to finish them off. Good. Now, now, the question is, what do we attack with our infantry? I mean, that anti-tank gun, I'd like to just get rid of it, right? Like, I just want this thing dead. Please retreat, so I can then safely fly one of these up and end you. Okay, perfect. I like that. So now we just have an infantry and some anti-aircraft uh, to deal with here. We will resupply you. And then over here... All right, we can get you up, and uh, this is just not, this isn't ideal. <laughs> All right, we will refuel you, and we'll get you moving there, and we'll get you moving there, and we'll get you on the bridge ready to cross next turn. I don't like stacking up tanks relatively close to an anti-tank gun. Uh, but we can, of course, utilize the tools that we've got to be helpful. We can probably slide you closer. Um, yeah, alright. End the turn. Now we got four turns left. I'm not holding my breath on this. Okay. Well, we need to secure the airfield, so let's secure the airfields. That seems pretty successful. They've moved the anti-tank behind a screen of infantry, which to me isn't exactly what you would want to put up against tanks. If you were facing a bunch of tanks and you had the option of either sending out an anti-tank gun or, or infantry, I would assume you'd go with the anti-tank gun. Uh, might as well send you back there to refuel. Not that you need it, but, you know, we can do it. I don't necessarily like putting artillery on a river. Um, but sometimes you just don't have a choice. Okay, we'll get you guys your full replacements. And we might as well get you guys your full replacements as well. Uh, so they'll be ready to go next turn. We can get even more tanks across. But at this stage, it's not really a tank fight. At this stage, it's 
it's an infantry fight. Regardless, we're going to get our Stukas down here. Specifically to focus in on that piece of artillery there. Um... And then I guess we're going to focus in on the anti-aircraft. I'd like them to just retreat. Okay, so now we can move the 14th in to secure the airfield. Uh, we might as well move our artillery up to support. We're going to have to rearm them next turn. And can you make it all the way around? No, but we'll get yourself set up so you can hit that next turn. I don't necessarily like keeping a fighter aircraft next to anti-aircraft guns. So we'll do a strafing run there, and then you, that should be okay. All right. Three turns to go. This is going to be the ultimate test here. Can we push it quickly enough? And I'm going to suggest that the answer is yes. Let's keep bombing the city. And let's start bombing that. Seven. That is a good bombing run. And then we can move our tank into flank. And take care of the artillery completely. That is good. We can slide you down. Now again. Attacking anti-tank guns with tanks. It might not be the smartest thing to do, but at this stage of the game, I don't have much in the way of options. And at least we were successful without taking too many losses. I did not want you to go there. You can stay where you are. Uh, we're gonna need to resupply you. So we can continue continue to hit that anti-aircraft gun. Uh, let's move you actually over there just to protect it. And then do we want to start? I don't. I'd rather get a artillery strike in, at least one artillery strike in, to try and weaken the infantry there. Let's get you across, and let's get you set up to hit across next turn. Okay. Mm. And actually keep you moving. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. We're it's ticking down, guys. We're getting close to the end here. <clears throat> Let's get another Stuka bombing run in that does succeed in doing something. Um Now, what I would prefer to do is get both of our infantry in. And then if we have to move in, I guess we could always move in a tank. There's nothing stopping us from taking the 16th Panzer and capturing Conan that way. And now we've, we're just down to, to one last final thing. Let's move you there. And in fact, uh, even better. Even better. Okay, so let's position our Stukas. Get a little bombing run in that, that doesn't really do anything. That's okay. Not much going on there. Uh, we might as well get you guys... Well, you resupply it anyway. That's what counts. Alright, we're close. We're close, we're close, we're close. Send you up over there. Let's get you uh, some. F let's get you some fuel, and let's move you. I mean, I don't necessarily think we need to move you anywhere, but let's just make sure you're not losing out on anything. Still, no sign of that anti-tank gun down here, so you know that's good. All right. This should be the last push. I, it absolutely is. The 13th can freely take the city. And, um... I don't necessarily want to attack that anti-aircraft gun with either of those. 
So we'll just leave it because that is... That is a completed objective. I think we got everything. There's nothing left for Poland to take. Unless that anti-tank gun got sneaky and is gonna capture that airfield next turn. I think we're in the clear. We are! We got a decisive victory. Excellent news. You have successfully captured all your objectives and you have dealt the Polish Air Force a significant blow by destroying their air control assets. Between your success here and the efforts of the Luftwaffe, intelligence believes the Polish Air Force is nearly crippled already. An excellent start, Herr General. Oh, I do, I do think it was an excellent start. Oh, not to brag about myself or anything, but thanks largely to your efforts in crippling the Polish Air Force, our forces in the northern sector have successfully reunited East Prussia with Germany and utterly crushed the so-called Danzig Corridor. In order to maintain control of this area and to continue our advance into Poland, it is vital that you secure several bridges, rail crossings, and cities along the Vistula River. You should expect no resistance from the Polish Air Force, but be prepared for heavy ground resistance from newly mobilized Polish forces. Success here will open up new avenues in the drive to Warsaw, but failure could be disastrous. I.e., the war would be over. Good luck, Herr General! So let's take a look at what it is we're doing today. Uh, we've got an elite unit of infantry that High Command felt we needed. Thank you very much, High Command. Um, so this is slightly different uh, in my warm-up to playing this campaign. Uh, in the first mission, I didn't secure all of the Polish air forces. The one in the middle uh, that I snagged... I forgot to snag. And so that, that sent you into a completely different mission... Um, where we were actually connecting the Danzig Corridor. So because we took care of the Polish Air Force, whatever units were already there were able to take care of that just fine. And now um, we're in a new battle. So we can see here we've got um, friendly units to the north. So these would be the the northern forces that reunited the Polish Corridor. I would imagine somewhere up here... Yeah, we got Danzig up here. So... Um, in the other one, a lot of this was controlled by Poland, and you had a siege going on for Danzig with these forces up there, and it's a lot cleaner this way, so it's a good thing we took out the entire Polish Air Force. And to be quite honest, I have a feeling this mission is going to be relatively easy. Um, as you can see, you know, we got cities to take and, and stuff like that. <clears throat> so what we're going to do, we're going to just, just go through and get our forces all up to snuff using elite replacements. It shouldn't be that expensive. Um, I hope. Let's go through, get our forces all repaired. Everything else is looking fine. And then let's take a look at these Panzer 1As, because let's face it, I'm not a fan of Panzer 1As. I think they're kind of garbage tanks. That's just me, but I really wouldn't mind updating these things to some 38Ts. So let's get all of our Panzers upgraded. Perfect. Um, what else do we need to do? I wouldn't mind taking a look at our artillery. We got one ten and a half centimeter, one seven and a half centimeter. So let's get the ten and a half centimeter uh, artillery up. That's looking pretty good. The only other thing I'm going to want to do is just give all of my infantry trucks that's it that's looking good i think we're set so let's go and deploy our forces and so first off we're gonna want to deploy our two stukas which is looking pretty good we don't have anything to worry about with the polish air force so i'm not going to bother deploy well i guess i can probably deploy my um fighter aircraft, but we'll do that uh, at the end. Where do I want to stick my tanks? Maybe along like that. And then we'll get some infantry along in the tree line. We're probably going to want some infantry up here. So let's get our troops like so. We might as well connect those suckers up. We're probably going to be doing another two-pronged attack. We're going to send um, these two units, well, these two infantry units in this artillery, uh, sort of this way to meet up with these guys, while we send the main bulk of our force east to sort of just mop up 
the rest of the space there. Let's slap in some more artillery. Let's get an anti-tank gun, although I will probably never use it. Uh, let's get the scout down, and... Because last mission, um, we were kind of in need of infantry. Oh, well, no. Let's just plop down our 109, and we'll see if we can make any use of that. I don't think we will, but it's better to be safe than sorry, right? Last thing I want is to lose both my Stuka flights because I was stupid and didn't, and didn't deploy any sort of fighter cover. And I don't think we've got any anti-air units, um... Because, personally, I never buy them, and I probably should, but the game also hasn't supplied me with any, so... Eh, you know, I think we'll be okay here. Uh, this is a completely new... well, not a completely new mission. This is a slightly new mission, but, like I say, it, it should be relatively easy of just slam into the poles, and then victory, right? That's how it works, right? Anyway, we're gonna leave that for the next episode. Let's go ahead, give this a save... And, um, we're gonna call it the Grand Campaign. Yep, that's fine if we replace the old one. We've only got one now. So, I hope everyone enjoyed the first episode as, and is excited for where this series is heading. Like I say, uh, let's just go back to the main menu here. Uh, because we did save. So, yes, that's fine. Uh, if we take a look at it. Right? Like, th there's a lot here. So once we're done with that, once we're done with Poland, then we go into, uh, you know, sort of like the low countries in France, and then it's into the Balkans, and then it's into, you know, the invasion of the Soviet Union happens up in here, and then we got some more Soviet defenses going down into Stalingrad. Then we got some options, whether we want to go west and fight the, the Western Allies or stay in the east. I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of leaning towards going west. Um, and then there's Sea Lion down there. But there's, there's a lot further, uh, to come with this series. So I hope all you guys are excited. I'm excited. I don't know how long we're gonna last. Like I say, I'm not expecting for us, uh, to get down here. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see what the future has in store. Anyway, guys. Uh, thumbs up if you have enjoyed this episode. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, amusings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.